the highlights over the last 60 years for NASA uh, start with um, uh, the monumental space programs that they uh, developed and were successful in, in achieving in a relatively small amount of time, beginning with the Mercury missions, the Gemini missions, but of course the uh, Apollo missions and successfully sending a man to the moon in 1969. The uh, shuttle missions and uh, the space station missions that uh, came afterwards uh, were no less uh, monumental. But uh, for NASA, for America, and I think for all of us, the, uh, there's nothing uh, more impressive than uh, sending people to the moon. I think that the, uh, when, when Kennedy announced in 1961 that this is what NASA and America intended to do, I don't think uh, uh, everybody quite believed him. Certainly the astronauts themselves were skeptical. Uh, many of the challenges, the technical requirements weren't there. Uh, many of the, uh, the, the plan even to be able to get to the moon wasn't in place. It took a lot of work and, uh, and the amount of time was short. Kennedy in, in suggested that man was going to get to the moon before this decade was out. I think for me, the most amazing achievement of NASA in the last 60 years is, is that, is that they, they did just that. They got to the moon within that deadline. And so let, let's just kind of rewind the clock back a little further, back to 1958. How much was you know, the development of NASA, how much was that a product of the Cold War era? Yes, the development of NASA was very much a product of the Cold War era. Um, in 1958, uh, on this day 60 years ago, uh, there's no doubt about it, America fell very much on the, on the back foot in terms of uh, the space program. Uh, the Sputnik had uh, passed across America only uh, only the year before. It was only a small ball, um, and it emitted a, a tone, a single sound, but this small um, ball that happened to be Russian, beeping its way around the world, reminded the world and America that the Russians were further ahead in space development. Uh, uh, America had some way to go. Uh, the following summer, in the summer of 1958, the Eisenhower Space Act uh, launched the, the development of uh, the origin of NASA, which then came into operation on, on today, this day, 60 years ago. Uh, that then led to uh, the development of the Mercury program. But, but again, America was on the back foot there too. In April 1961, when uh, Yuri Gagarin became the first person to get into space, of course, he, he being a Russian cosmonaut. Uh, Al Shepard uh, was sent into space a month later in May 61. Uh, and then just 10 days after uh, Al Shepard's um, very uh, important, though brief, 15-minute flight, uh, Kennedy then made the announcement that America was going to get to the moon. How you get to the moon, uh, for, which is a, a mission of uh, at least a week's duration uh, of enormous complexity involving two separate spacecraft, one to carry people to, the, to a lunar orbit and a smaller one to carry two people down to the surface of the moon, and then to ensure that everybody comes home again safe and sound, how you get to that from a 15-minute uh, suborbital flight uh, was, was uh, pretty, pretty monumental and was quite a, a challenge. But it was the, the presence of the Cold War, um, the communist threat, as the America saw it at the time, that drove that challenge and, uh, and, and brought the country together, 400,000 people working over 10 years in order to uh, get to the moon and to, uh, uh, and, and to get there first. And, and um, when the crew went there, the crew of Apollo 11, Buzz Aldrin, Neil Armstrong, of course, and Michael Collins, they were very much aware that, uh, uh, as far as they were concerned, they were, take, they were representing humanity. It's the only space mission that uh, didn't have the astronauts' names on the patch. Uh, they, they, didn't, they realized it wasn't about them, it was about all of us, and, um, which is why they took TV cameras with them. Uh, they also took with them the advice, Mike Collins was given the advice, uh, the world is watching, so uh, don't screw it up.